The sounds of tango that normally bring back memories of home tonight brought Latin Americans at Rumba Cafe a sense of pride. It's from Argentina, from Latin America, and that brings flavor of proximity. Where Catholic images mount the walls, customers of this small cafe in D.C. fill the tables, harmoniously awaiting the arrival of their first American pope. On his first visit to America, the Pope will conduct the Mass in his native tongue, in Spanish, but it doesn't stop there. He also requested from the choir to sing some of his favorite tango music during the Mass. Uh, the, the Pope is following essential values. I mean, the tango represents that for our culture. Through laughter, Dean Chester Gillis attests to the Pope's widely beloved knack for being, well, casual. I think it's, it's refreshing. It's, uh, yes, it'll be a formal liturgy and there'll be all the wonderful liturgical music. But there'll also be something cultural here that, that breaks the mold a little bit. Dean Gillis is on the board at the Kara Research Institute, where they just released the most recent data on cultural diversity in the Catholic Church in the U.S. Catholicism would be flat or declining in the United States without the Hispanic population. He's very partial to that community, and he's partial to the immigrant community in general, almost everywhere he goes, and certainly he will be in the United States, and a big portion of that immigrant community is a Latino, Latina community here. So they have someone who's a native Spanish speaker, who, who is Latin, who, uh, as one of their own, leading the universal church. It's a huge, huge event for them. For Argentinians and Latinos alike, it seems that this visit is hitting very close to home. Reporting from Washington, I'm Christina Galato.